I'd appreciate if you guys didn't video in here. Uh, we are allowed to record. There are clients in here. Hi, it's Casey Gamer Boy at the Tulare County Health and Human Services Agency. County of Tulare. We have the probation department here too. Look. Hey, check it out. Look at this sign. Apparently they don't know what that means. But we'll see now. Oh my god, I didn't hold it for you, bro. You dropped it. And now they're gonna be pissed. We got the women. Yeah, we're allowed here. Is it locked? That's good. Oh my bad, I'm moving it for you. What is this place here? Hi there. What's this place about here? What? It, yeah, it's a week. Yeah, it's week. Oh, it is week. This is what? Yeah. The WIC Office Women, Infant, and Children Program. How many different um, things are in here? Like, you guys got probation? Um, in this er the area, there's probation, there's mental health, there's slurry works, and public health. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank These you. people need Jesus. Thank you, very professional. We appreciate your business. Are they looking at us wrong? They're calling the cops right there. Like, they're calling the cops. It's on the phone already. Now he's gonna go hide. They went and hide. We got a lot of different things in this building. So we got the red program. Howdy there. Hi, how can I help you? Nothing. What's this place about here? This is Portobello Mental Health. Okay. How you guys help people here? Yes, we do. In what way? Just wondering. We um, offer counseling services. We have um, therapists and psychiatrists. Perfect. Wow, that's cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Very informative. The security guards went and hide. <laughs> oh, adults. I thought it's it. Audit. Probation department. There you go. No comida inside. All right. Please ask on ask me online reporting. Hello. What do you guys do here? Something. <laughs> Probably gonna give us the number to the public information officer. That looked like. There you go. Oh, can you answer some questions? No, I cannot. I'm sure so you sorry. could. Have a great day. No, 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 no. Yeah, we need to talk to you. <laughs> She's giving me a personal com personnel complaint complaint form thing because they know already that we put him on check. I guess. Nah, knock, knock. L look at this mirror. Look at this, bro. This is like a level seven right there. Dude, look at. They won't hear you. Oh. Oh, look at this. So probation office guys, I'm so sure it's kind of a violation of your rights, right? What? Well, what? Okay, huh? I don't want to be on your, your camcorder. Well, I mean, you're talking to the camera guy. I mean, I'm not going to put you on camera. What did you say right now? It's a probation officer. This is a probation officer. These probation officers work for us. Did you know that? Yeah, but I don't want to be on your video. Okay, but, don't talk to okay. us. Yeah. Can I go outside and wait till they leave? Thank you. You see, we ain't pointing the camera at her. She didn't tell us nothing. She, she was complaining before you walked in. Well, that it's sucks her. for her. She, her baby. she can suck it up. I'm not, I'm not recording her baby. What would I need to record her baby? We're not here to record you. Yeah. What are you guys doing? We're here to record our public officials. Oh. We do First Amendment audits and record. Yeah, yeah. Is that security bag? You heard of us? I honestly know. There we go. I hit my camera now. 
What's up, bro? What's up? That's good. How's your day going so far? Yeah, how's your day? Uh, busy, man. Holding public officials accountable. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What? She's in a horror. She's mad. You ain't gonna just take from us and fucking hide. <laughs> She gave me a complaint form because they know we always ask for it. What the hell? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's us right there. Don't forget to subscribe to G-Rod. They don't want to answer questions, you guys. They're over there hiding. Well, they're better hide. Nah, they ain't coming they're out. Right the cops are gonna tell them the same thing. Hello? Hola. <laughs> this is ridiculous. She literally went in high. What's the number to this place? <laughs> this is the Porterville Probation Department in Tulare County. And they're hiding from us. What if I keep hitting this bell? Then <laughs> eventually it will come out. Can we come out? <laughs> Hello? I need some fucking questions answered. <laughs> I'm starting to get mad. <laughs> what would they tell you? Cowards, man. That's what you go cowards right here. They'll be back. They'll come out right now. They're not doing their job. Let me go get the other security. I miss you. What's up? How's your day going? It's going good? Why well, we went and taught her when we came in? Because I saw that you went and taught her something. Nothing. Oh, that's good. What, what company do you work for? That's a question. It's like you don't know you look like... It's right here, right here, I know. Mean, What's your name, by the way? Huh? What's your name? John Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we're just doing public filming, um, showing public officials that we had the right to film. We're not trying to stir up things, all right? Just making sure that you got that rollo. Uh, you got some water? Um, no. Oh, okay. What can I do for you? I didn't ask for help yet, but thank you though. Okay, uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys didn't video in here. Uh, we are allowed to record. There are clients in here. Uh, that's fine. Um, they have uh, confidential yeah. matters that they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. I understand so that. We would appreciate that you didn't. Yeah. Um, I don't, you know, I can. Certainly contact law enforcement, but I don't know that they're going to follow up with... They're not. After you they'll leave, come, they'll tell you, they'll educate you, and then you leave. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, all right. All right. So, what just, just asked you politely to, to leave because it makes our customers uncomfortable, and it is a confidential place for them, so... What, what makes them uncomfortable? Uh, the recording, just like it makes me uncomfortable, and it would probably, probably make you uncomfortable. You guys have cameras? Yeah, no. That's cool. No, uh, we're gonna right. deny your request, man. Thank you, though. Okay. All right. Thank you, though. Thank you. Do what I have to do. What are you gonna do? Call the cops. You gonna call the cops? You really gonna try to put people in a cage for recording? Okay. Hehehe. They wouldn't hide. My sister told me, hey, can you be recording out here? Can they be recording? She's like, yeah, as long as they ain't causing trouble, yeah. Boom. Boom. That's it. That's it. Try not to block the entrance. Might get you now. She's coming out. Kylie, Kylie. Kylie, Kylie. Kylie, Kylie. Kylie, Kylie. Well, I'm a manager, there's certain things I have to do under these kind of circumstances. And I'm your district manager because I'm your boss, so I rule this place. Yeah, I'll pay your salary. Thank you. Tell me as your district manager today. We have the 
little um, the resource card. The resource card. Yeah. But we're actually not recording sometimes people or anything. Sometimes people I mean. can't come in here, you know. And sometimes people are in wheelchairs or stuff like that where they can't come out here, so we do that for them. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. It's ten bucks. So that's the EDD office over here. That's the Larry Works office. Uh, okay. What's your name? My name. Joe. Oh, okay. nice to meet you, Joe. Nice to meet you guys. What's Thank you. Names? I'm Casey. I'm Tulare. Tulare? I am. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. Nice thank you, sir. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All Appreciate right. your business. Thanks. We'll be back soon. Where's g Do we get a... Boy, it doesn't close. So, you guys, we got like a lot of things in this one. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Not, um, she got it. <laughs> well, thank you. This is the mental health place. They got probation across right there. They got the EDD over here. What's up, Donald? <laughs> oh, that's a. Oh, you're live. That's right. My bad. I forgot. I take a pamphlet Hello. so I can scan it and show yeah. it to people. Yeah. This is what we do. We just show people you guys, yeah, what you, how you guys sell. And this is our wellness and recovery, our okay. mental health. So. Any right, perfect. Information English in and Spanish. English I'll scan it and I put it for people Spanish. to read it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, you're yeah. Welcome. yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day. Are you too? Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. 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 Hola. So who's next? Go to EDD. That too. We're going everywhere today. Probably the manager's gonna show up. Oh, shit. Hey guys. Hello. Good. Can I help you with anything? Nah, not yet. Do you, you have a water by any chance? Do we have water? Yeah. I don't. Do you I think there's water faucet right out there. Yeah. What do you guys do here? Uh, this is Chile Works. We provide public services to the community. Okay. You guys want to see a little bit? Yeah. Yes, yeah that sounds good. I'd like to like a tour. Yeah. Well, here in our lobby over here, uh, this is where we provide. All of the information for the various languages. Oh. Um, this way, anyone who's seeking services uh, has access to those, right? Regardless of what language they speak. Um, up here, this is our Calvin mobile app. This actually allows our clients to apply for benefits online. Oh wow! So you can download the app just like with anything else. You can apply for benefits on there. You, can... you guys hear that? This is something new right here, right? I didn't yeah. know that. Well, yeah. Actually, it's not that new. It's been out no. for a couple years, but it's just oh. more recently becoming popular. Oh, okay. Um, so when you go, what happens is if you download this on your phone and mm -hmm. you go, and there's a link that will take you to create an account. So you create an account. And then you can you can provide SAR sevens, you can provide income verification, you can provide all the verifications that you would otherwise come in here and provide. You can do that through the app. Oh, then so faster. Yeah, we have people, um, and actually we have people out of this office that pulls all that information out of the mobile application, and they do it pretty quickly. So wow, it saves people from having to come in. Oh, I, I, I would love to do that. Huh? Yeah, it saves people from having to come in. So you guys are welcome to take these. Yeah, Thank you so much. Very helpful. Taking the time yeah. What is this machine here? This is a kiosk. So when the clients come in, mm -hmm. um, they can press English or Spanish if they know their case number. They can put their case number in there. And what it does is it sends a signal to our computers back over here. Okay. So we know what the client is here for. We know what um, their needs are and whatnot. So they will pull them up, kind of already having a little head start on whatever it is they need. Oh, wow. Up here, the clients can see where their numbers are. Yeah, so huh. If you don't hear us, because sometimes it's loud in the lobby, they'll be able to see the number up there. Okay. You know, the other screen here provides um, various information. Sometimes it's medical, sometimes it's on nutrition, you know, those different types of things. Okay. Now over here, we have these posted everywhere. And this is the four ways to apply for benefits. So we want to make sure everyone has all the information. You can call and you can apply by phone. We can send you an application. You can mail it in or you can fax it in. You can drop it off, um, and again, you can submit it online. online. Yeah, there's actually a, a website you can go to too. This is mybenefitscalwin.com, and it, it kind of coincides with the app. Perfect. Um, the applications are available right here. Right there. Okay. So if they wanted to just pick one up and mail it in or drop it off, they could do that. Sounds good. Wow, very professional. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep, yeah, no problem. What's your name, by the way? Tara. Lambert. Tara. Thank you. Very You're professional. Welcome. Over here, I can show you guys. We have people call so you can get a raise. 
Hey, you never know. They'll probably give you one. Well, I, I like people, so. Uh, wow. Here we have all our civil rights information. Here we provide information as far as budgets and Civil rights whatnot. information. <coughs> Over here, we try to give tips. Um, there's been a lot of fraud lately as far as EBT pin numbers mm -hmm. and EBT cards. So we try to make sure everybody is aware. Don't ever give out your pin. Um, don't ever give out your information. Keep all that private, you know, because a lot of scammers are calling and, and saying different things. Um, you know, hey, um, you know, I'm checking your card or something like that. We don't want. We will never call you. We don't want anybody giving out that information. Okay. Wow. We try to provide all of our community members with as much information as we can uh, regarding childcare, regarding um, anything along those lines. Two one one, where you can call and get information for housing, health care, mental health assistance. Yeah, you guys offer a lot of services here. We do. My goodness. Um, this display right here is actually, it is CalFresh Awareness Month. Okay. We're really trying to support CalFresh Awareness. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the new uh, SSI cash out. Mm -hmm. Well, the SSI cash out is ultimately, um, and, and I'm, I'm, I don't want to be uncomfortable. No, no. Um, the SSI cash out is basically where previously SSI recipients were unable to apply for CalFresh benefits. Oh. But they are now. Oh. So we're definitely promoting that. So uh, we put a display out here, just kind of providing some information. Last Our staff in the back did research on different countries, different ethnic backgrounds, um, did wow. recipes, those type of things, and we put them on display. We switch it up every week. Hmm. So, That's interesting. Yeah, we try to provide as much information as okay. we possibly can. Wow, cool. Well, guys, thank you for your help and your information. Absolutely. Is there thank anything you. else I can help you guys with? You've been very helpful. Good. Yep. Thank you. No, that's not my All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you too. Are the poly poo coming? Just in case. What else is here? Man, there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's the same one there. That's another one here. Ah, that, hey. <laughs> They closed it, I guess. So yeah, wow, she was this cool. Building, there was a car on fire. Um, I'm gonna record that because I mean they already turned off the fire. But yeah, I mean I guess the fire is here. I went to record it and they heard in the back. Yeah. They ran back. These probation officers here in Port Bill are scared, you guys. Where the CPS at? I know I saw it on the side. What? It's on the side on the other side, no? What? There was another door for child protective stuff. Ah. Oh, the door to the right. Oh, the door to the right, huh? Yeah. But the, uh, child the, protective service. You said the other one? Yeah. The EDD office on the left side. También? So Someone there's... Says, Gee, bro, what are you doing, bro? Uh, his name is Joseph. Oh. Joseph. 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 Well, a cop was over there. I think Child Protective Services will be cool. Yeah, there was a car on fire. It's getting towed over there. Well, let me go to the Child Protective Services. Where? Right there. Is it door? Yeah. Why not? Public lobby, no? No, no, I mean, like, is that open to everybody or is this workers? It's open to people. Yeah, it's open to us. This is pretty much where to take away your kids. What is this? Huh. Howdy there. No, I thought so, but no, not really. What's that all about? What you guys doing? Hi. 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 Good, how you doing? Pretty good. You guys? Chilling. Yeah. They got old, little OU as a security guard? Um, yeah. Can I get your name? Victoria. Oh, hey, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Did you guys videotape me? Everything. doing a first amendment audit. Okay. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I sure have. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, yes, we do. Are you just to check it out? Maybe, yeah, if you want to bring them. We want to speak to the highest person available. Okay. 
Dot, I know. Hello. Do you have a supervisor around? Thank you. Can I ask what, what your position here is? I'm office assistant. Office yeah. assistant? Awesome. 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 Cool. Wonderful. You know what's weird, man? Every time I go live, like the first time, I'll get like over 100 people. But then I'll go live like the second time and I'll get like 30 something and less. What? <laughs> <laughs> This is a Samsung Galaxy S8. Oh, that's cool. And this is a 4K something. I don't even know what camera. It's brand new. Yeah. Cool. It's a Sony 4K one, X33. <laughs> I don't know what this one is. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what mine is, and I got like two months with it. We were driving Coke everywhere. everywhere. Oh, 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 a step on me. Well, took the whole leg out. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. Who's on here though? We got um, Rachel. What's up, Rachel? <laughs> Let me turn this off real quick. We got the same phone. Right. We got the supervisor. We got the supervisor. Like, oh, shit, the camera. You can come out. <laughs> you can't come. No, it, it's actually hard to hear you through there. No, I'm not going to have any problems. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Stand up, let's get a look. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. No, I'm just checking to see if you guys have a sign yet. No, they don't. No. How can I help you? Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, it's okay. Taxpayers pay for it. <laughs> How can I help you? Um, what, do you guys, what do you guys do here? We are child welfare services here, and we provide services to our families that we come in contact with. Okay. So it just depends. Do you guys? It's not necessary all the time. It just depends what it is. Is this mm -hmm. the place where, uh, where the social workers or whatever they are um, take children from their parents? We take custody of the children, yes, if given to us by law enforcement or just depending on the situation. So on the, on, on on the welfare of the children and stuff like that? Sorry, what's that? On, you, it's, all, it's based on the welfare of the children and stuff like that? Whatever's being reported or alleged. Is it true children go missing from your guys' custody every year? Missing or... Yes, missing. Can you explain, like, runaway, missing? No, 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 no like, missing where they just... Fall off the radar? Yeah, like uh, we hear a lot of complaints about uh, child support, like child kids welfare. disappearing in your guys' custody. Yeah, child support, I would not be able to answer you about that, but as far as missing. Not See, when you say you don't want to, you can't answer that, it sounds a little bad. We're not child support. Guys, like, no, 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 I don't want to talk welfare. on behalf of another agency huh? that I'm it's not familiar with. Child welfare. Yeah, child yeah support. we're child Oh, okay, okay. I see. Child support is a different agency. Under what circumstances they take away kids or they. So by law, whenever we received a referral, they're just yeah. referrals, though. Based on what was reported on the allegations, if they're found to be true, we may have to remove custody from, from parents. And it's always just temporary. It's not always like removing, terminating parental rights is not. Oh, OK. As long as, long as they do good they by the courts and stuff like that. And if we happen to go to court, we don't always go to court. You know, we try to do our best to not have to remove children. Yes, so we right? try to offer preventative services and we can yeah, refer okay. out to other agencies yeah. okay. um, around the town here or myself or awesome. where it is. <laughs> but um, so it just depends what it is that they're needing. So okay. we don't always Remove. That's one of the last, the least things that we want to do. Like, say, when we guys do remove them, they have to end up doing a program just to get it back? Or? Court order services. Court order yeah. They'll have to go in front of the judge, juvenile court, and the judge will make it, their services will make it a case, the case front, and they'll have to kind of make sure they're in compliance with that. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, but that's like our last resort. It's not something that, because we see what is the impact it causes on the children when we have them here. Yeah. Are you the supervisor here? Yes, I am. Can I get your name? Sure. It's Lydia Suarez. Lydia. Lydia? Lydia. Lydia Suarez. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Very professional. How long have you been working here? Um, 13 years. 13. Oh, wow. no, sorry, sorry, sorry. 16. 16? Wow. I gotta ask, uh, is CPS corrupt? What do you mean by corrupt? Corrupt? <laughs> you know. Corrupt. I, mean, I don't know. Like, any any like, dirty people that, 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 uh, I mean, like to like uh, that's just the easiest way. Put stuff to put underneath it. the rug. Is it correct? Keep it in there. No, 
there's, there's really, everything's <laughs> monitored here. We have, and not everybody has access to, you know, like caseloads and stuff. So a lot of the cases are sensitive. When you, so. when you guys go to people's houses, do you guys advise them of the rights, of their constitutional rights? Or yes, you guys we don't? give them a copy of their civil rights. Every visit, or every contact that we have with them, even if we just met with them months prior on yeah. another referral, we still give it to them again. And we, they, we have them signed just to verify they didn't receive their copy. Because a lot of people that I know, like they, people like uh, you workers, like try to just barge into their homes and stuff without letting them know their rights and stuff. It's all over the YouTube too, and yeah. no, do you guys I mean, don't do that here in Portoville? I mean, they, you guys they are different. Have, well, I'm not saying we're different, but we we can't just go barging in. You know, they have rights too. Yeah, so if you, every time you want somebody's talking to you about something, it's best to refer them out here. We'll be more than happy to explain to them, you know, how our process works and stuff. And when we come in contact with the family, that's the first thing we have to do. We I would think it'd be nice, man. Like if you guys were to change it up a little bit, and you guys go to homes and say we got a call about, you know, something wrong here. But you guys do have rights. You guys have a first, a fourth, and a fifth amendment before we do any, before we go any further. Like that would actually be cool to let people know that they have rights. But and I and I can't go into like because of the confidentiality of our clients here. I can't tell you, you know, what we have to say when we go and meet with families and stuff. But you know, we don't just we don't go in there addressing. Because they situations. feel like they always have to answer to you, and you know, like the which they don't. Mm -hmm. But I, that's what I'm here for is to let people know that they have rights and. They do. They have every right and. And like I tell them, you know, sometimes you, we get families in here like, well, so-and-so told me, well, don't go to so-and-so because you may get um, misinformation. Come here. I always tell them all the time. I go out with my staff, you know, and even when talking to them, it's like, you can't ask enough questions because I'd want to know if it was regarding my kids. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of people, there's a lot of misconceptions or maybe out there by people, well, so-and-so told me, well, they went to case, well, we have the same, but it's never same. Same. Not the same. It may kind yeah. of be similar, but it's never the same. Circumstances are different. What made you pick CPS as a career? Um, good question. Because this later, is a place I would <laughs> really not want to work at. Yeah, man. <laughs> because it, I, I saw that there was like a need here. You know, here in Portville specifically, we didn't have a lot of services. All our um, services that we refer families were always like towards they sell them. You know, but now there's more services out here in Portville that we work with. But it's always like the you know having a voice for the children who yeah. are less vulnerable, more vulnerable and stuff. So yeah, okay. And how uh -huh. we families. So. Well, thank you I so thank much. Thank you for being very professional. You are way more professional than Visalia because both places call Visalia Police Department on us okay. just for coming in and asking questions just like this. So I want to thank you. Oh. I appreciate it so no much. No problem, Thank you for handling the calls. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. All right, it's nice meeting you. Thank you, thank you so Any much. You so have? Don't have to thank you. Stay safe and professional. Because we're watching. All right. <laughs> All right. Peace out. Oh, that was cool. Give her props. Both right, of them. Guys, um, Even the FRT security guard too. That's gonna do it here. No EDD. Fucking hell, Probably gonna cop wise maybe for right. one more hour or something. I, don't I know. guess I'm this sure is it. Let me turn it off and we'll probably go to K EDD. I don't know. Let me cut it off. No. No. Huh? No. Are we going to the EDD office? What? Okay. Are hey, you not going to the EDD office? Right there to the left. Cut it off and then I turn it back on. <laughs> well, I guess we're now at the EDD office. So. We are here. What is this place about here? Oh, yeah, it's the same thing. Hello. How do you? Hello. Get some pamphlets here. Sad beauty. Oh. Blaze Pizza. Well, this is where the game. Well, it's a plumbing connection. Connection there. I thought it was the EDD here or something. Is it? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, you're right. It's right here. How many hours you want? This is where people can put their claims for disability. SDI, social disability or something. 
Hello. How you doing? Good, good. How about yourself? Good. How can we help you? Yeah, so what's this place about here? How, how do you mean? What, what is it about? What, what do you guys handle here, or how do you help people? This is the, uh, this is the employment connection. Okay. And uh, we help uh, both job seekers and businesses try to come together to create opportunities for employment. Okay. So I'm jobless. I come here and grab an application, or and you connect me with the, like an employer to get get a job. It's a little oversimplified, but there are there are greater resources than that. Okay. There are resources that include um, job search skills, such as building a resume, learning how to interview, um, make presentations to employers, best for success, those kind of things. Yeah, because so it says EDD as well, so you guys help people as well to get their the disability EDD issues? The is a partner agency here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because I didn't saw the EDD outside like, on the science. It just says something different. That's what I was asking. Yeah, it's the Employment Connection, the EDD. We also have the Department of Rehab oh, okay. here in this building. We also have C and Company for Youth. There's several partners that work out of this Perfect, building. perfect. Well, thank you so much for your info. Um, Can I get your name? You, my name? Yes. Mike Haskins. All cool. right, thank you. Thank you, Mike. All right, you're Stay welcome. Stay professional. Mm -hmm. All right. Pretty cool. There you go. It's the eye online. Easy. Oh, they're pointing our fingers over there too. Over there. Okay. I'm assuming this is a public area here now. Just so who? How is that? This is this public, right? But there's important information that we've already Yeah, but, but I said there's a public, public lobby. Though. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Trip me out. He's trying to get us out. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Is this open to the public in here? No. no? It's, it's, it's a work area. Oh, okay. What for do you guys us? provide here? Our uh, services for. Okay. I um, think there is a door. Camera shy. Wait, there is a door where we can go around. I'm gonna prove that right now. Yeah. You're gonna go through that door right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go around. Yeah. I know because there, there's that door where we can go in. Yeah. He was lying. Oh, employees only. Do not enter. He was right, bro. Yeah, he was right. It says employees only. Yeah, so he was right. Anybody can record because I know that every time I get blue, shit, I'm recording, bro. Yeah, yeah, you have to, bro, because these cops around here, they're fucking dirty, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. Especially here and in Visalia and Tulare. Fucking three places, especially gang task force. Gang task force, you guys have a good one. All right, two minutes, stay safe. Yeah, slow. That's it. Peace out. That was Casey Camera Boy. This is it.